All right. Introduce yourself to the people. Yo, what's up, man? It's Naughty. Naughty from 63rd. Naughty from WTO. You feel me? WTO. We the op. Shot wreck shit. All right. All right. Hey, Naughty, first thing first. How is, how is being a rapper in Chicago going so far? Oh, being a rapper in Chicago. Shit. I mean, it's cool. You feel me? It's cool. Uh, you yeah. know, you know, any other rival gangs? You know, any gang things say about your your rapping or anything or? Oh, the ops gon' yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, the ops gonna always be ops, folks. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, motherfuckers like to mention my name in their songs just to boost up their views. You feel me? Like. They don't get plays. They don't get views unless they mention Naughty. As soon as they mention Naughty, you know what I'm saying? Them views, they'll go up a little bit. You feel me? But yeah, man, these rappers, man, these rappers here need me. You feel me, fault? Motherfuckers need me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then, you know, like, a lot of shit been going on with, you know, with the feds, you know. So how you, like, feel about the police and the justice system and shit? Like, Man, feds be on straight bullshit, G. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that's why I really stay in the vicinity of just the hood, you feel me? Or or if I do move around, I always got a legal driver, you know, somebody clean, somebody that ain't got a record somebody that ain't smoking or drinking you know stuff like that because like feds man they has to pull you over in it and a heartbeat for no no man hey they ain't got no reason at all they'll just whip right behind you they'll follow you for 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 for, for 10 blocks they'll wait for you to uh uh accelerate through a yellow light you don't make it all the way across Woo -woo! and they just want to jump right like man come on man you <laughs> y'all motherfuckers just fucking with us at this point g you feel me they be on straight bullshit around here, fuck. I ain't gonna lie. For real. And then you can't even call to, like, try to press charges or or call for a lawsuit because, man, the court system is on their side, G. So, man, it's just like a lose-lose situation when you're dealing with them, you feel me? Yeah. Man, I done, seen, I done seen a police officer run over my affiliate, you feel me? Run over my affiliate, fuck, and nothing happened to him. I don't seen police officers tase motherfuckers for no reason, beat them with batons, call them uh the hard R, all kind of crazy shit. G, don't shit happen to them. G, you feel me, I'm bro? Yeah. Oh yeah, and also, you can you tell me the story how you caught like four years for your first gun charge in eight months? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, if you don't mind, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could speak on it because I did my time. You feel me? Uh, yeah. Nah, the uh, reason why I got four years the first time is because uh, uh, they didn't just catch me on a on uh, catch me up on a gun charge. You feel me? They also got me for uh resisting arrest and uh also breaking out the jail you feel me so that's how come i had yeah. gotten, uh four years for the first one but the reason why i got eight years on the second one uh uh shit i got shot you feel me it ain't no secret now at this point you feel me uh shit i got yeah. shot three times in the back you feel me uh and shit i was in a in a uh wheelchair you know so shit it, EMS got done working on me. I went through my surgery and shit. Uh, two female officers, you feel me? Cute ass officers. I ain't gonna lie, G. They was uh talking to me and shit. Then she was just like, you know what? I'm gonna make sure you go to court. I'm gonna make sure everything good. And, and I'm gonna make sure you get the lightest uh, sentence as possible b based off of your condition. You feel me? Uh, mm -hmm. They ain't want me to be locked up in a wheelchair, handicapped, fucked up. You feel me? So, man, they looked after me. So, uh, it still fucked the police, but shout out to them two officers. You feel me, on um, bro? Okay, okay. And how you feel about the rap industry? The rap industry, industry. Yeah, uh, yeah. Shit, well, what you mean, Jay? She you mean, about I, the rap. rap talking about, uh, you know, like you know, these rapping nowadays, like on um, what they saying in their rap song. You know, people catching Rico charges, and you know. What's all going on in rap rap game right now? Man, I think it's a whole lot of bullshit. You feel me? Like these niggas ain't really 
doing shit, you feel me, for Like, these motherfuckers be... Hey, if a motherfucker spent 24 hours in the studio a day, G, what minute do you have to go slide on somebody, for? You feel me? What minute do you have to go rob some? What minute do you have to go do any motherfucking thing, G? Your ass is in the studio. Only thing you can rap about is keeping a pole on you because you in that in, in, in that uh, studio. You feel me? As soon as you leave that yeah. motherfucking studio, fo, come on, boy. Niggas is taking it up off you, G. You feel me? Man, these niggas just be rapping, fo. These, these niggas ain't really living what they really talking about. You feel me, bro? Oh, bro. Yeah, yeah. And how life been since our first interview? Like, how I been going for you? Oh, since my first interview? Uh, yeah. Shit. After my first interview, folks, I ain't gonna lie, a lot of shit went up. You feel me? Uh, shout out to you. Uh, I mean, uh, not to you. Shout out to uh, 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 Off the Porch and uh, A Dirty Glove Bastard. You feel me? Uh, sorry to promo other uh, 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 platforms on your platform, but uh, yeah. After yeah, I had did fine, that, fine. I appreciate it, G. But no, uh, after I had did that first interview, G, like a lot of people that didn't know me started to uh, pick up my shit. And I ain't gonna lie, nigga, my views had went up a little bit too off that shit, you feel me? So yeah, uh, no, nah, shit definitely been going up, you feel me? Oh, bro. And I got to ask you, man, like, you ever been robbed or, you know? <laughs> nah, G, <laughs> nah, G. <laughs> I ain't been robbed living here in the rap folk. Nah, I ain't been robbed for oh, you feel me? Uh yeah. Uh nah, nah, I ain't been robbed for I I, I had only been shot, you feel me? But nah, I ain't been robbed. Mm -mm. And you know, coming up in the rap industry, you know, and being in these streets, like how your how your parents, you know, your your mother like look at you, like her point of view and shit like that, you know. Shit. Like, uh what a lot of people don't know that uh, I don't speak on, you feel me? Uh, yeah. Uh, man, fuck it. Let me dive in it. Uh, shit, my mama, uh, we, ain't, we ain't been close since I was a little, uh, 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 know what I'm saying, a little boy, you feel me? Uh, one night I had overheard uh, my uncle and her talking. And uh, my uncle had made a statement like, like uh, go ahead and line up this nigga like how you did your baby daddy. You feel me? And yeah. once I heard that comment, I started to look at shit different because it's like, damn, all these years, my mama just told me, you know, I said, you know, I said my pops died just because he just died type shit. Like she ain't never told me that she was a part of it. She was the one that that actually did that shit type shit. You feel me? So, uh, with that being said, nigga, I don't talk to my mama. You feel me? Man, my mama, I, I don't know how she feel about it. You feel me? I'm pretty sure she done heard my, uh, music. You feel me? But, uh, uh, nah, after I had run away from home, nigga, I had moved in with my grandma. You feel me? Uh, that's how I had got my name, Naughty, because she told me, she, 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 she just used to always tell me, like, you just a naughty little boy. You just a naughty little boy. So just, <laughs> just over a course of time, you feel me? I had got the name Naughty. I just spelled it different, but yeah, that's how I had got the name Naughty. You feel me? But uh, yeah, only person I get, I, I, I really care most about is my grandma. So yeah, shout out to her. Uh, man, she, 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 she like my music. You feel me? She like my music, but she's from a whole nother era, though. You feel me? Like she yeah. from the uh blues and. Then, and, and you now I'm saying that type of music. So uh, 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 she don't really agree with what I rap about. You feel me? But she still supports me, though. You feel me? Yeah. 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 And what is like being like in front of the gun, like? Oh, the life in front of the gun, G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you, fuck. <laughs> Man, the <laughs> first time I was in front of a gun, folk, it was a few years back before the first 63rd Rico, you feel me? Uh, yeah. I forgot who it was because they dead now. So I, so, so I, I was going to say their names to go ahead and get their flyers because uh, 
Motherfuckers was motherfuckers was getting active, folks. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, motherfuckers put up to sixty third with them bitches and got the blowing. You feel me? And shit, I ran. You feel me, folks? Hell yeah, I did. Nigga, I, 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 nigga, I ran like four, five blocks over, fo. I try to get the fuck on, fo. I ain't lying. <laughs> and shit, uh, a previous time, which is, which is like, uh, actually, a, actually a couple of days ago, G. Uh, I was posted right here, right outside the block. I was posted in front. I lit, lit I lit, bro. I'm not. I bullshit you not. I literally just walked to the front, and right when I had turned around. From walking, uh, a black V pulled up. You feel me? Without saying too much, shot. Uh, I had already knew what it was. You feel me? I had t- I had turned around. I ran, and uh, nigga, all you hear was a pop. And nigga, I'm just glad that that them niggas air ball, folk. You feel me? <laughs> but uh, the the uh, final last time I, I was in front of the gun, G. Yeah, that's when I had felt that burn for for the uh, second time. You feel me? Uh. Uh, not sure if people know, but uh, my first time getting shot was outside of O Block. You feel me? And uh, yeah. my second time getting shot was actually the same day that niggas airballed on me, folk. I I had went to the clothes store that night, and um, uh, motherfuckers had just got up with me type shit. G, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. And and you know how on um, how you being shot? How did it reflect on your life, like? with people around you and you and yeah man uh being shot being shot really it 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 really takes feeling out of a body to where uh to where uh excuse me to where uh you just don't really care about certain shit or you can't really express your your true feelings towards certain shit afterwards you feel me like uh you might not tell your girl you love her the same way that you once had meant it or you might not be able to fuck the same way that you used to fuck know what i'm saying it takes longer to yeah. get that nut off because nigga all that feeling is gone up outside of your body so with that being said after i got shot g like nigga i just turned more careless i ain't gonna lie folk like I don't really give a fuck. I don't really show love the way I used to show love, G. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Oh, bro. And, you know, like, being in these streets and stuff, how is, like, you know, losing people that you love? Uh, like, losing your loved ones. Shit, G. Uh, how's it like? Man, that shit's hurtful and painful. Doesn't explain how it really feels for you feel me hurtful yeah. and painful it's kind of like a uh, easy like it, it it just sounds easy it just sounds normal you feel me like it's on a whole nother level for like that shit turns a nigga dark you feel me like a nigga will turn into the devil behind that shit g you feel me on um, bro yeah, yeah. And you know how it's best to you know you know move in Chicago and survive. You know, like knowing you, you got somewhere far in life. Like, how do you move? How do I move? Yeah, in Chicago. Oh, how do you? How are you supposed to move? It? Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. How are you supposed to move, man? Like most people, well, I ain't gonna say most. Yeah, probably most people actually. A lot of people for sure, motherfuckers like to drop they low because they think that shit, shit is gangster. You feel me? Like they think all the ops ain't gonna do shit. I'm gonna drop my low, but a lot of people that done drop that low and dropping a low don't necessarily mean, hey, y'all look at me, bro. Pull up over here to uh, 63rd. That's not necessarily dropping a low. Dropping a low could just be going live in general. And you got niggas that's watching the background. You got niggas watching the type of cars that's running past or posted on a block. What type of nigga, bitches in the background. They try to see if they know the bitch in the background. They probably finna text it, but like, hey, yo, where you at? You know what I'm saying? Like, dropping a low can lead to so much more. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, uh, Hold on, G. Everything good? 
I, I'm ready for my fault, G. I had to pay that damn phone bill. I mean, <laughs> light bill. <G. laughs> What's up, Paul? It's cool. It's cool. Can you tell the people how did your friend get charged for attempted murder on you? Was it a back door? Nah, hell no, nah, G. Uh, nah, G. Uh, shit. What happened was after I had got shot and shit, you feel me? Like shit, I uh, I had dazed out of it. I, I had went to sleep, and uh, I had woke up in a hospital. And uh, what happened was, bro ended up getting pulled over, leaving the scene. So they thought he shot me, folks. You feel me? So that's how he was able to catch the charge. He got he got charged for uh shooting me or whatever. But uh, nah, uh, shit. The nigga we talking about is Mello. You feel me? Man, shout out to my brother Mello. Uh, nah, for he home now. You feel me? We had beat that. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. And what's your thought on switches, like? Man, switches done turned the rack up, folks. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker done turned the city up, G. Ed nigga want to switch now, folks. You feel me? Ed nigga that done used one done shot everybody but his target, folks. I ain't lying, G. <laughs> hey, niggas don't hit the nigga that they aiming for, folks. They hit every, everybody around them. You feel me? Yeah, switches done turned the rack up, G. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh... Don't get me wrong, switches is hard to uh, come across, you feel me? But it's a very popular thing that's going on right now in the rack, you feel me? My um, bro. And tell me about your close friend, Zay. Like, how did it affect you know losing him? Ah, uh, Zay. Yeah. Uh, 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 damn. Uh, shit, that just hit different, G. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't really want to. Uh, yeah, yeah, we we can skip that. We can skip that question. Um, yeah. I apologize for asking it. Yeah, nah, you good. Um, you good, you good yeah. And you know, the rumors on you know that people thought you were dead. You know, Twitter Twitter beefing going on. Like, explain. You know what? That is still a uh, a mystery to me, G. Uh. Anytime I'm moving around, you know, I got my mask on, you know. I got a big-ass coat on with a hood over my head, shit like that, to where should nobody be able to uh, make out who it is that they have an, an interaction with. So uh, when I got shot, my team had kept this shit a, a, a secret, G. You feel me? Like, yeah. we ain't yeah. do no... Do no uh, R.I.P. Naughty or or uh, hope hope bro make it out and all that. Well, that shit was a secret, a mystery. So for for me yeah. to for for me to get out the hospital and then I start seeing that shit on Twitter, I'm like, how the fuck did niggas find that shit out, G? You feel me? So that's still a mystery that no one knows the the answer to except the people that hey. uh stated it. You feel me? And do you think it's like an insider? You know, somebody you around you could be giving that information out or anything. What you, what you think about that? Like, you know what? I ain't never thought about that, G. Because uh, my niggas is my niggas, so yeah, I was raised off of uh, you shouldn't have to question the loyalty of your brother. You feel me? Yeah. So uh, yeah, I ain't never thought about that, G. Possibly though. You know what I'm saying it's possible, but uh, shit, the brothers that I got. I, I wouldn't question it. I wouldn't try to figure out which which one of them said it. You feel me? And do you ever like plan plan on wearing jewelry? Like, uh, no. you know what? A couple people asked me that before. They like, they like, your ass gotta be broke, G. Your ass don't be wearing jewelry. But uh, nah, jewelry is just another thing that just adds attention you feel me it just causes attention and uh shit when you moving around the rack g don't get me wrong you got some niggas that wear jewelry and shit but uh i ain't never been the flashy nigga you gotta remember bro i used to be a dirty ass bum ass nigga so so i, I ain't never really been into the flashy shit g you, you feel me but uh uh i will get 
a chain one day as as like a trophy. You feel me? And uh, but uh, I don't feel like I made it there yet. You feel me? I, I, I don't feel like I deserve it yet. But one day I, I will get a chain. You feel me? And, and and to go along with that chain, G. You feel me? I'm gonna give me a cocaine white Lamborghini, folk. For real, a lamb. And then I'm gonna slide that bitch on 63rd, G. Watch this. I'm bro. And in your household, do you have like a, any father figure that you was looking up to or anything? Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I had a father figure, folk. Uh, uh, yeah. Now I'm saying RAR. You feel me? Uh, yeah, R.P. my father, Rory. Uh, that was my uh, closest homie who I, who was my father figure. You feel me? Yeah. And then, let's see, like, I say, after being your charges, like, was it like a he release off your sh uh, shoulders? Uh, who me? Yeah, I ain't never beat no charge, folk. Uh, you didn't? No, I ain't never beat no charge, folk. Uh, I had got charged for uh, for that uh, gun charge and resisting arrest and that uh, that uh, escape that uh, jail escape. I had, I had got charged for uh, those or whatever. You feel me? But uh. Nah, I ain't never beat no uh, charge, G. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. And explain and explain any females that's in, you know in Chicago right now. Like what they're like, like. I don't really like. I said based off of my background, as far as the relationship with yeah. my mama, you feel me? Uh, I ain't never put my trust in a female since. And uh, what's crazy is, uh. Half of the niggas that I'm close to that's no longer here was lined up by a bitch. <laughs> that's crazy, you feel me? And uh, it just goes to show that I learned from my uh, peers and my environment, you feel me? Uh, these hoes out here is set up artists, you feel me? Like, ain't none of them trying to really be in a, re in a relationship. Ain't no boss bitch already up trying to come find a nigga that they could bring up with them or... Or, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like it's always some negative shit, G. Like, ain't nobody on a grown woman shit, you feel me? So, uh, until that grown woman status approaches, you feel me? Man, I'm smooth, G. You feel me? I'm smooth, nigga. I got my hand. You feel me? I'm bro. And, you know, you know, you know school, like... Like all all the fight all the, uh, all the physical altercations you had in school, like tell me something about that. Uh, shit. I wasn't really a a fighter, folk. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't really a fighter, G. Uh, shit. I done won fights and they got done lost fights, folk. I ain't gonna lie to you, G. Uh. But I know one thing, shit, the last time I got into a fight, nigga I, nigga, I got my ass beat, nigga. I told myself, nigga, never again. And shit, that's when I had picked up the pipe, folk. I ain't gonna lie to you, G, for real. And shit, I ain't really, I ain't really gotten to like a one-on-one -on -one fight ever since. And that was, that was, shit, a long ass time ago, G, you feel me? But, uh, nah, shit, the last time we got into a fight, though, folk, uh, man, we went to the, uh, to the uh BP gas station, folk, and uh, shit, me and a few guys, and it, it wasn't even everybody, you feel me? Shit, we wasn't even deep, shit, we trooped down there to the uh BP gas station, actually right there across the street, folk, you feel me, man, we trooped down there, and shit, we seen some uh ops posted up on their block, hell of them, you feel me, we, 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 we clearly outnumbered, you feel me? Shit, they seen us, and shit, they trooped over and shit, and then, uh, uh, after that shit, it was a big ass brawl. You feel me? Long story short, nigga, I caught their ass inside the motherfucking store yeah. and just and, and just took off on his ass. <laughs> started beating his ass inside. The, I, I ain't lying, G. I started beating his ass in the store to where dude started running, folks. He ran from me, G. And shit, when we got outside, 
Nigga, I got hit from behind. Pook. Then next thing you know, nigga, shit, it was just a big ass fight, big ass brawl. Nigga, we got it in out there, G. I ain't lying, folk. The question I'm finna ask you is, yeah, yeah. Do you see yourself signing with Rockford Records? Uh shit. I ain't gonna lie, G. It just depends on that bag for real, folk. You feel me? Like, yeah. I heard they be offering niggas crumbs. 15, 20, 30,000, like shit that I can go make in five, 10 minutes, you feel me? But shit, like if motherfuckers throw that bag, G, like, like nigga M, or, or nigga half of M, you feel me? Like, hell yeah, I signed, G. But it's gotta make sense though, you feel me? Like, I ain't finna sign for like five albums, you feel me? But like, if we could come across a good deal to where it's like one album, or like, like three EPs, you know, two EPs, something simple like that. Hell yeah, I'll sign G. And then, how you feel about your rival gang, No Limbs? Oh, uh, shit. Uh,. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, no limbs, no limbs, G. You feel me? Um, I ain't gonna lie. It, 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 it's been, it's been the Fourth of July on a block, G. You feel me? Like, I'll go out here to the front. I'll take a little look down, and shit, somebody switching that bitch up. Yeah, five, ten minutes, G. You feel me? So, uh, how I feel, feel about no limbs? Man, I feel like they need to move. That they need to get the fuck on, G. <laughs> Cause they getting the belt, folks. I ain't gonna lie to you, G. They getting the motherfucking belt, folks. Straight, straight, straight belt to ass, G. On bro. And you know, as a growing artist, do you see? You know, do you wanna? Is you plan on moving yourself out the hood, out the streets? You know. Shit. It all comes with that uh, possible deal. You feel me? Like shit, I ain't rich, G. You feel me? Like dropping some some uh, songs on YouTube. Shit, that YouTube check ain't got a nigga rich. You feel me? But uh, yeah, it just de it just depends off that deal. You feel me? If I get that deal, hell yeah, G. You feel me? Nigga, me and the guys is out, G. Um, bro. <clears throat> see you know as you were locked up was it any police brutality going on to you know like why you locked up how were they treat how was the fed with treating you in in prison man you know what's crazy out here in the free world the police abuse you and beat the shit out you and everything but when you locked up the ass ain't nowhere to be found g Nigga, the inmates run that motherfucker, fuck. It ain't no structure in that motherfucker, G. You feel me? And, oh, yo. How you feel about people ratting? And, and is, is there, like, you know, is there a time you you can rat? Like, is there a time you can rat? Uh... Uh, uh, I right, let me put it like this, G. <clears throat> In order to you, you, I remember you asked me this question earlier. You said how to survive in uh, Chicago, right? Yeah. Uh, how to really survive in Chicago, G? You got to be tactical as fuck, fuck. You feel me? Uh, was it ratting? Like, for example, like, have you ever seen the movie, uh, uh, Belly? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah Belly? No, mm. no, 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 it ain't Belly. It's, uh, 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 uh State Property too. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know how they had through dude a party? Yeah. What that mean?
Hmm. Hold on, say that again. What is what does it mean to throw somebody a party? Throw somebody a party. Yeah. Um. Remember in State Property too, he said we're gonna throw him a party, and then what ended up happening was the police that came on the block swarmed in, uh, arrested dude and all his members. Uh-huh. So they got rid of the competition so they could move in and start collecting the extra bag, right? Yeah. So my question to you, like, is that a rat? Yeah, yeah. If he threw a party, yeah. It, it, hold on. Hmm? Yeah. I mean, if you saying if he threw a party? Yeah. And yeah. Just... But, 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 but did everybody uh go after they mans and call him a snitch and rap behind that mm. them niggas start making money they ain't give a fuck about that shit right yeah so is it really a rat so basically so 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 basically what i'm getting at is in order to survive in chicago you got to be a genius with this shit smart tactical this life shit is like chess you feel me that's all it is this shit, shit is all about chess it's all about Making sure your next move is your best move. You gotta be smart as fuck. You feel me? So to go back to your original question, uh, will I ever rat? It it depends on what's your what's your definition of a rat. You feel me? Uh, yeah. If me and my man's uh go do some shit, we get busted. You feel me? Uh, if he die, am I a rat? If I put all if I put all of the uh, charges and shit on him, I mean, he's. I mean, he's gone. I mean, really. It's... Hmm. Well, nah, I can't. You can't say that. You it, can't really say. Oh, uh, listen, listen. A rat is when you put somebody behind bars. That's a rat. You can't put a dead man behind bars, right or wrong. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You so, can't you can't put So it depends on what's your definition of a rat, you feel me? Would I ever yeah. call the police and say he did it? Nah, you feel me? Would I ever sit, sit on that stand and say he did it? Nah, you feel me? But will I ever tell on a dead man to get free? Hell yeah, G. You feel me? It's all about being smart, folk. You feel me? This shit's chess, my nigga. That's not a rat. That's not snitching. So, uh... I'm glad you asked that question, cause uh, nigga, that's just exactly how I feel, folks. You feel me? If I get booked yeah. right now about anything, my dead man's probably wasn't there, but nigga, I'm gonna throw it on them, cause they dead, g. And then I'm gonna be free. And if I'm free, that means I could continue to take care of my dead man's mamas and daddies and grandmas and aunties and sisters and kids and whoever else is still alive. If I'm behind bars and he dead, what the fuck is up with our families? Everybody gonna be fucked up around here, right or wrong. Right, you right, you right. I mean, this shit's chess, G. That's just how I feel about snitching. And you know how you feel about your allies, gang. You know, like O five one. Yeah. Shit. Uh. What's crazy is. When we first start uh moving around and shit, T T T T W actually was the first ones to like like always want to be around us, be up under us. You feel me? T W, you feel me? And then uh by that time, you know, we we, we had split it up from STL, but STL was still like shit. We ain't really trying to be cool with nobody else except y'all. So, shit, y'all still want to be cool. We'll be cool. So, we like, all right, bet. Boom. You feel me? So, that's what made us keep uh, SCL around. But uh, then we ended up linking up at 051. You feel me? And uh, WTO, we the reason why the TW, SCL, and 051 is all cool. You feel me? Because we the glue. We the one that brought everybody, to, everybody together. Everybody was just on some shit. I'm just trying to be cool with y'all. You feel me? But we the ones that introduced motherfuckers, and now everybody done built up relationships and shit. You feel me? But uh, as far as 051, shit, I fuck with a few niggas there. I, I said about three niggas, but, like, my closest nigga, who is, like, my brother, 
is Boogie. You feel me? 051 Boogie. I, I, I call him the Boogie Man. <laughs> and if you know, you know. <laughs> you feel me? I call him the Boogie Man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, tell me something a little bit more about your, you know, your father. Like, uh, he... Yeah, just like I told you earlier, G. Uh, when I was a kid, that's when uh, I had walked in on my uncle and my mom. Well, not walked in, but I overheard their conversation one night when I was supposed to be asleep, you feel me, about the yeah. line of my pops. So uh, I didn't really know much about my pops. But uh, from what I do know, after talking to... Uh, 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 shit, talk talking to like my grandma and and just people here and there type shit. You feel me? Uh, yeah. I learned that shit. My pops was a big drug dealer from out of town, actually, and uh, uh, he came here to the rack. Uh, probably like a couple times out the month, just to make money and shit you feel me and uh shit one new year's he actually pop came he, he was actually in town and celebrated his new year's here and uh he went out one night and that's where he had met, met my uh, mom's at you feel me and uh shit they ended up started dating well not yeah dating messing around or whatever you feel me kind of like kind of like Mines was like one of his little out of town little, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? And uh, yeah. and uh, what happened was uh, I guess my mom had got pregnant, and she told him, and uh, you know he was cool with it and shit, but when my, my mom tried to spend more time, like wanted to go back out of town to where he lived and shit, he always like nah 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 nah. And the reason for that was because what well, she didn't know at, at the time, but the reason was because my pops had a whole nother family. You feel me? So like, I do got siblings. I just ain't never met them. You feel me? Uh, so uh, you know he'll come in town. He'll see me, uh, chill with me and shit. And but uh, you gotta remember, like nigga, I was a baby. Like I don't remember shit. You feel me? I was a baby. So uh. Yeah, at the at the beginning of time, uh, time after I was born, uh, that's when he ended up getting lined up one night. You feel me? And, uh, yeah, that that's pretty much all I know as far as him. You feel me? They just told me, uh, shit, he was a money making nigga. You feel me? And you know, you being a gangster disciple, do you listen to any black disciple music? Uh, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Music ain't got shit to do with, you feel me, like a person. You yeah. feel me? Hell yeah. Uh, shit, I still listen to, like, uh, Dirk and shit, you feel me? And, uh, and like, shit, the, if the ops knew how to rap, and if the, and if they was to drop, like, a fire song for, I would play it. I would listen to it, you feel me? But they ass, you feel me? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Music is it, 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 <laughs> music is music though. You feel me? Yeah. And um, is there anybody you want to collab with in your music? Like you know, make music with out there. Uh, shit. The the only two people I wanted to do music with, they both no longer here, and that's uh Tay Tay and SP. You feel me? Uh, SP lost his life in front of Old Block, and uh. Tay Tay passed away in a, a bad car accident right in front of police. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, we ain't never get to do our song together. We did have one in the mix, actually. But, uh, nah, we ain't never get to finish that song. So, uh, nah, there ain't no song. And we was also supposed to do a show together as well. All of us, you feel me? That we ain't never get to do as well. You feel me? So, uh yeah, those are the only two people, man. You feel me? Those are the only two people. And, and you working on a project, like, you know, an album coming up? or? Nah, fuck an album, G. I'm going to keep these singles going. You feel me? Yeah, okay, just, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing strictly singles. I just feel like, uh, I feel like albums are supposed to be classics. You feel me? Uh, I don't think everybody should just be doing an album. I feel like albums are supposed to be classics. 
And uh, the only thing close to besides singles that I would do is a EP. You feel me? So uh, I don't know. You feel me? I might, I might, I, 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 I might mess around one day, and put some songs together, and then drop an EP. You feel me? But uh, right now, is that in my plan? Nah. You feel me? I'm gonna keep these uh singles going. You feel me? Yeah, I'm bro. And then, um, would you, is there any chance that you would squash any beef with a, a rival gang or anything? Uh, well, I squash beef with the ops. Uh, uh, shit. I'm trying to think, are there any ones where it's not deep? But, uh, nah, they all deep, G. Yeah. They all deep, G. Nah, hell no. Nah, I wouldn't squash beef with none of their ass folks. You feel me? Uh, shit. Uh, beefing with 600. Them niggas took a, uh, someone. You feel me? And uh, yeah. beefing with uh, 4 6. I'm trying to think, G. They might have took someone. I can't remember. Uh, beefing with no limbs. No limbs might have took someone. Uh, who else is there? Shit. Oh, 757 was new. Yeah, that's a new one. You feel me? Uh, yeah. 757 was actually our allies at first, folks. For real? Yeah, uh, 757. Uh, see, I was. Shout R.I.P. to my brother S.P. A.K.A. Shit Splat. You feel me? Uh, he actually was cool with somebody, like real cool with somebody over there in Seven Five Seven, and uh, we caught two of the Seven Five Seven other homies walking one day, and we pushed up on them. You feel me? They ain't had shit on them either. This is before they even touched pipes. You feel me? And shit, if we wanted to be on that type of time, nigga, we could have did that to them. But instead, it was like, shit, boy, y'all niggas walk, boy, y'all good. They're like, yeah, fool. Well, ew, ew. We're like, shit, y'all need a ride? They're like, hell yeah. So we ended up giving them niggas a ride. And uh, that's when I had uh, met uh, Tufo. And uh, I met another nigga from over there. I forgot his name. Uh, 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 uh. Damn, yeah, I forgot the other nigga name. You feel me? And then I ended up coming across another two, uh, another seven five seven nigga, uh, spinning four six hood, and we pulled up on him. We're like, shit, boy, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, he like, oh no, no, I'm seven five six. We're like, oh okay, my fault, fool. Whoa, whoa. So then we got to chop it over him. Everything was cool. What happened was, little bro Tay Tay, he went over there by himself one night. You feel me? And uh, shit. Long story short, them niggas had had. A, a, had a uh, backdoor type shit to him and uh he came back to the hood and told us so that was like the b beginning of our uh beef and problems right there you feel me uh yeah them niggas had started that shit g you feel me uh wto wto ain't been nothing but loyal to all our allies you feel me but uh yeah so after that situation it just became too deep for us to even say hey bro let's watch that shit you feel me because uh I actually reached out to Tufo. You feel me? I'm like, damn, bro, what's up? He, he, he like, oh, yeah, it's not. I'm like, yeah, nigga, what's up? Good. Oh, what's up, bro? Ooh, ooh. Nigga, we was chopping it. And then next thing you know, I said, hey, gang, what happened to the little situation? He said, oh, boy, I'm going to have to uh, call you back. Boy, I'm doing something. I'm like, huh? And shit, we hung up. And shit, that's what I had knew right there. Like, okay, I already know what it is. You feel me? And what you think about all this killing going on in Chirac right now? Uh, shit. I feel like it's a lot of angry motherfuckers out here, G. You <laughs> me? Shit. A lot of angry people, G. It, like, everybody got their own opinion, but you won't understand. Yeah, you won't understand unless you are a part. You feel me? It's kind of like, you ever heard, matter of fact, you ever been at a job or 
overheard a, a white group of people conversation and then they say, yeah, sell drugs. Why are you selling drugs? Why don't you just go get a job? Right? Right. All right. But uh, what they don't understand or know is if we ain't got the experience and if jobs are not hiring to give us the experience, how are we supposed to get a job? So y'all all want us to settle for the cheapest, easiest job, which is working fast food or at a gas station. But y'all don't want to help put us in position to get the good jobs like y'all. You feel me? So in order to get the good money like y'all, we got to do what we got to do. You feel me? So basically what I'm uh, getting at is... Uh, 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 damn, bro, I just lost my whole train of thought, G. Damn. Oh, yeah, so basically what I'm getting at is you won't understand unless you are a part, you feel me? So to wrap it back around to what you just uh, said, how you feel about the sense of killing, I feel like if somebody kills somebody, G, I'm pretty sure the, the person that got killed deserved it, G. That's just me being honest, folks, you feel me? Because ain't nobody going to just go around just killing some random motherfuckers, G. If you are, you a weird ass sick nigga, G. For real. And the group of people that you hang with now, like, what you got, what you, like, as, you know, like, what you got lined up for them, like, as a, you know, what y'all got lined up for as a team right now? Like, what's y'all goal for right now? Is. Man, it's the rack, folks. Our goal is to survive, G. Plain and simple, G. Shit, we ain't got no goal to go to like let's go get some money and put it together, start a business. Yeah. Owning a business in Iraq, G, that just puts an easier target on your on your back. You feel me? Cause now niggas know your your whole schedule. You know what I'm saying? They know the days of the week you at work. They know what times you work. You feel me? It's just an easy drop on you. You feel me? So like. Yeah, we ain't got no uh plans or goals as far as like trying to own businesses and shit, G. Shit, we, nigga, we all we all fuck around, and be dead. You feel me? So like, man, our goal is just to survive each day, and shit, whatever the fuck happens, happens. Which is why I'm doing this uh music shit. You feel me? Yeah. I'm doing this music shit in hopes to uh shit, <coughs> and in hopes to just help us all out, fuck for real. And you're, you know, like, during your lock, you know, during when you get locked up, have the police ever brought your music up to, to you know, like, as a evidence of that you did this or anything? Man, I, that's a dope question, G. What's crazy is, nigga, I done said a lot of shit in my music, folks, that could have put us all away. Rather... Rather, what I talk about as far as the description of some shit or what we allegedly did or allegedly said or what, lo uh, what location we might have been at a certain point in time, it don't matter, folks. These police don't even listen to the shit, G. So you could literally make a song and say, I killed the nigga such and such, and they ain't going to do shit, G. You feel me? So that's the beautiful thing about uh, the, uh, what's currently going on in Iraq. You feel me, folks? For real. Hell nah, nigga, they ain't never did that shit, G. And I'm glad they didn't. Shit. We'll all be down, fuck. No bro. And you know, I wanna bring up um a Chicago uh, Chicago legend with one of them. Um Jakira Burns, the assassin. What you what how you think about her? Like what you think about her? Like Uh Shit, that's a whole nother time period. You feel me? Uh, yeah. yeah, I ain't never met met her. I ain't never know her. I ain't never nothing. You feel me? Yeah, that's a whole nother uh, uh, time time period, time frame. Uh, but to uh correctly answer your question, like I have to learn more details about her, cause uh, people could say a person did this or did that, but what proof is out there that that person did it you feel me so uh yeah. i don't want to put a name to somebody if they wasn't that out of respect you feel me but uh let's just say allegedly that the rumors were true you feel me man i feel like she's a gangster g you feel me
And um, I'd like to mention a game right now. Um, your WTO and Parkway, what's your relationship between y'all two games? Uh, shit. Like I said earlier on, SP, a.k.a. Shit Splat, he died on on that street i ain't saying they did it i'm just saying he died on their street so uh yeah we ain't really been around that area since you feel me uh uh word is it's a whole lot of new motherfuckers over there now you feel me so uh yeah with that being said folks it's a whole bunch of new niggas i don't know none of them the guys don't know none of them we just gonna leave them be you feel me uh and shit, shit, if they ever get out of line, folk, now I say I got the belt. You feel me? And um, it's a member named Tarzan that uh, passed, you know, that started, you know, this beef thing, you know, they, it was just, yeah, like, tell me about, like, what's, what's going on with Tarzan, Tarzan situation? No, yeah, Tarzan, uh, nah, it's, Tarzan is the uh, reason why WTO is even here. You feel me? Uh, shit, Tarzan's a uh, Chicago legend. You feel me? Uh, everybody know who uh, Tarzan is. You feel me? Uh, what a lot of people f seem to forget, I believe, is that I've been here ever since the beginning. So, like, I met all the OGs. You know what I'm saying? I was they little homies. So, now... I'm a big dog, so now I, I got little homies, you feel me? Uh, yeah, shit, Tarzan, I, I, I remember, uh, shit, I remember Tarzan being on 63rd, uh, shit, he was quiet, G, I ain't gonna lie to you, he was quiet, but every time I looked up on Twitter or Instagram, like, niggas was dissing, so I'm like, what the fuck really going on, you feel me? And, uh... Like, I wasn't that close to Tarzan as far as, like, his best friend, you feel me? But I remember talking to him a few times, li literally a few times, like, like, like five, six times. And uh, th that that's probably the most we, we talked right before he had uh, passed away. And uh, I just remember, uh, man, he was a cool, quiet, funny dude, you feel me? Uh I don't know how somebody could hate him. I don't know how somebody could have so much hate towards him. You feel me? Uh, shit. He was chill as fuck, funny as fuck, cool as fuck. Just wanted to hang out. But he moved around solo sometimes. You feel me? He always moved around solo. You feel me? Uh, yeah, Tarzan wasn't no hoe, <clears throat> no, uh, hoe at all. You feel me? Man, wasn't no bitching, bro, at all. And uh, Shit, when I had woke up, one uh one afternoon and then i got the news that uh he was gone i was like uh, you know it was just like huh <laughs> you feel me because remember it was like he just quiet he chill as fuck so i'm like huh and then when they told me like yeah they had caught him la lacking at the gas station he, he was pumping gas or whatever you feel me uh i forgot who else was there I believe it was another homie there who was waiting on Tarzan to get done pumping his gas, who was sitting in another car. Man, if I can remember, I think he said he ducked. He ducked, fo. I can't remember. I think he said he ducked in his car or some shit had happened. I, I can't remember now, G. But, uh, yeah, they said they caught Tarzan uh, pumping gas and shit. Ever since then, we had, we ain't ever been at that. Like, we ain't ever went to that gas station. You feel me? We don't pump gas there. We don't go there. We don't we won't even walk past that motherfucker. You feel me? Straight up. Uh, I'm thinking about doing an uh, interview with uh, Rack TV. And uh, I might pop up there. I might. Uh, I think that might be my first time going back to that gas station, G. And, uh... And, yeah, I'm going to definitely uh, get more into uh, details about that shit. But, uh, yeah, as far as Tarzan, you feel me? I don't got that many stories and memories of him because, like I said, he was quiet. He was chill. But from what I do remember, you feel me? 
No, nah, bro was cool as shit. He always moved around solo, but he was cool as shit. You feel me? After WTO and STL split, have y'all communicate since or like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, uh, or huh? Yeah, uh, shit. STL be coming over here sometime. You feel me? Uh, shit, they vibe is different though. You feel me? They uh vibe is completely different, G. Uh, I don't know what they got going on, but uh, they ain't the same SCL. Whenever we was over there on sixty third, you feel me? When we was over there, them niggas was friendly as hell, cool as hell, all that shit. But now that we over here, now it's kind of like they mad that we that we done moved over here, type shit. You feel me? Whenever it ain't no bad energy towards them or none of that. You feel me? It's just uh, we just giving them their own space, and we getting our own space type shit. You feel me? Uh, and it's also in a sense kind of save them as well. Uh, that way when W WTO name is brought up in, in some shit, it don't bring them down. Or when they name come in, came coming to some shit, it don't bring us down type shit. You feel me? Mm. Yeah. But yeah, have it been any back doors within the game? Like, yeah, like. Shit. You said, has there been any back doors? Yeah. Shit. That'd be a private conversation, G. You feel me? Yeah. But, uh, back door, especially. It is definitely a part of the game, though. You feel me? Uh, it be the ones that you least expect it from. You feel me? Yeah. As you was locked up and your homeboy Melo, like, how was the block then? Like, how was they moving? Like, after you two been locked up shit i wouldn't know because i was, I was uh behind bars you feel me yeah. but uh from 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 phone conversations uh i was i i was informed that uh yeah i ain't gonna say that because that's gonna put a, a, a yeah nah yeah. Fuck, you feel me yeah yeah, yeah. i wouldn't know yeah, have you seen other rival gangs that you know that you had beef with out on the outside? Uh, shit. Actually, yeah, I had saw a, a trio of niggas. Uh, I I, I want to say they was from Six Hundred. It was three niggas from Six Hundred, I believe. I think so. I think it was six hundred. It was any physical altercation uh, altercation when y'all had you know beat each other. Hell yeah. yeah, G. Hell yeah. Uh, I had got into it with one like I was chilling in my cell. You feel me? And uh, some weird random nigga came in that bitch. Just got to being weird. You feel me? So shit, we fight. Yeah. Boom. Uh, he go downstairs. I follow behind, and then that's when three, three, uh, six hundred niggas was down there, and uh, and shit. One of them was like, shit. Nah, I'm saying, who are you? Nah, I said, where you from? Woo woo. And shit, I'm like, nigga, what's up? You feel me? And shit, I start beating on one nigga. And the other two niggas just jumped in. So they all three jumped me. Boom. Next thing you know, uh, these niggas start grabbing on my pants, trying to trying to untie my pants and shit, G. So shit, I get up. Nigga, I take off on the ass again. Fall, boom. Nigga, what the fuck? Ooh. I, nigga, we fighting again. Of course, they all three jumped me. Boom, I fall. They did it again. This time, they pulled my pants down, G. I, no lie. 
No, 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 no. Th- these niggas had untied my pants. My fault, my fault. They had untied my pants. And I'm like, what the fuck, G? And shit, after they had untied my uh, pants and shit, one of them started yelling out, hey, yo, spit in his ass, spit in his ass. On some, some weird <laughs> shit, G. Yeah, fuck. On some oh, weird man. shit, G. But, uh, long story short, G, yeah, we was fighting. Ain't no nigga ever spitting my ass, G. That nigga only untied my pants, nigga, on some gay shit, folk. That was it, G. You feel me? On some pure gay ass shit, G. He, that, that, I forgot, I forgot what the nigga name was, actually, but, uh, that nigga had untied my shit. That's it. My pants ain't never come down. Ain't no nigga never spitting my ass. None of that shit. None of that shit, you feel me? But, uh, uh, yeah, folk, like, them 600 niggas is weird, bro. They different, G. You feel me? They real different. Hey, how you keep your composure through all this, the stuff you're going through right now? I ain't gonna lie, G. This shit's stressful. And I've gotten to the point to where I'm tired. You feel me? And, uh, uh, shit. With, with that being said, it's times where shit, I don't no longer want to be here, G. I ain't gonna lie. It's just, it's just becoming overwhelming. And shit, I'm just tired. Long story short, I'm tired, G. You feel me? So, uh, so to everybody else out there in the world, like, like, nigga, this shit's hard, G. I ain't gonna lie. This shit's hard, fuck. And what's, what keeps you going, like, what keeps you, you know, moving strong, like, Shit. Probably. Probably, uh. Shit, probably trying to, uh. Probably so I could be the one to uh, tell the story, G. Yeah, you feel me? So I could be the one to tell the story. You know? Shit, one day I get 70, 80 years old. No opposite ain't gonna ever be alive. You feel me? All the opposite is super gone. You feel me? And, uh, shit, hopefully I, I could be the one that could sit down right here where I'm at. You right there in that, with that camera. And we talking about this all over again. I'll be the one telling the story. Probably fuck around and make a, uh, like a movie or a documentary or, Write a book or some shit. You feel me? And before we end this interview, what would you like to tell the young people in Chirac right now and, you know, people that's going through a tough time? Make a plan of, of what you want out of life, G. You feel me? Make a plan, G. Uh, uh, I don't care if you want to be a ball player, make a plan. Your plan could be, shit, I'm finna drop, you feel me? I'm finna average, average 20, 25 points this season. Or football, man, I'm finna score 15 to 20 touchdowns this season. Or, or shit, I'm finna go to be a, uh, I don't give a fuck, a doctor, a lawyer or some shit. I don't give a fuck, just make a plan. And whatever that plan is, uh, shit, don't give up. It's going to be a lot of trials and tribulations. It's going to be a lot of obstacles. It's going to be a lot of bumps in the road. You feel me? And don't give up. Figure it out. Because once you figure it out, you become a smarter and a stronger person in life. So if you or someone you know comes across that same problem, you would know how to deal with that situation, that problem, because you once not just went through it, but you overcame it. You feel me? Yeah. Um, bro. All right, people. Today we got Naughty with us. And, and Naughty, I appreciate you again for coming by and, you know, telling me, you know, again. Yeah. Nah, I appreciate you for uh, coming through the rack, folks. You feel me? Uh I definitely appreciate you for for uh, coming through. Uh, enjoy yourself while you out here, G. But uh, also uh, make sure you make it up out of here safe. 
You feel me? And uh, we do, we do. They already know who it is, man. It's Naughty from 63rd, WTO, uh, RIP, shit, Tarzan, Rari, SP, Tay Tay, Gooski, Lil Mart, uh, Late, AR, Leaky, Zay, uh, Davon, uh, Free the Real, you feel me? Uh, shout out to my two right hands, uh, Mello and 051 Boogie. Uh, 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 shit, shout out to everybody, bro. All the guys, you feel me? Shout out to all the guys. I ain't finna sit here and name everybody names, but <laughs> yeah. everybody know who it is, man. Shout out to all the guys, you feel me? And, uh, yeah, folks, I'm about this bitch, and we definitely gonna have to link up and do another one of these, G, for real. For sure, for sure. You, uh, you keep, you keep doing good things out here, bro. It will come to you. Appreciate it.